it all to you. I give it all to you, God, trusting that you'll make something beautiful out of me. I will climb this mountain with my hands wide open. I will climb this mountain with my hands wide open. With my hands wide open, I will climb this mountain with my hands wide open. I will climb this mountain with my hands wide open. I will climb this mountain with my hands wide open. I will climb this mountain with my hands wide open. There's nothing I hold on to. 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 is in the hands of the maker of heaven. I lean not on my own understanding. My life is in the hands of the maker of heaven. I give it all to you, God, trusting that you'll make something Something beautiful out of me. I give it all to you, God, trusting that you'll make something beautiful out of me. I give it all to you, God, trusting that you'll make something beautiful. Out of me. Father God, please hear our prayer tonight. We stand before you with nothing. We can give you nothing, Father, and we pray that you would take our nothingness and make something beautiful of it, Father, because we know that you can. May you be blessed. In this place, may you be blessed in our lives. I pray for Caleb as he brings your word tonight, Lord, that we would hear your word and that it would sink in and that we would be obedient. And yeah, I pray that your will be done. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Just, just in case somebody does not know, I think we all, all know, uh, but Caleb is the youth pastor at Arlington Reform Church, and uh, we're trying to partner on different things, and we're chatting about the youth service, and he said, Warren, the Lord has laid something on my heart. And so I'm really excited about him sharing for the first time at our youth service, and uh, we hope that there will be many more. Um, but thank you for your servant heart. So uh, let's just pray for Caleb. Lord, thank you for the word that you have laid on his heart. Thank you for what you are doing with Caleb and uh, the youth group at Arlington Reformed. And we commit that to you and ask that you would uh, really impact Poughkeepsie through them, that they would see you working through them in great ways. We pray as we hear from Caleb and hear from your word and what you've laid on his heart, we pray that you would challenge and grow each one of us. In your name, amen. Amen. Do you need a... Uh, that's all good. Yep. No worries. Look at this thing. This thing is crazy. I can't believe this. Do I look like a Backstreet Boy? <laughs> or maybe like One Direction? I probably look more like I ate one of the dudes from One Direction. But, but anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So this is what I need. I need a couple volunteers. Matter of fact, I need 10 people. One, two, three, four, 
Five. Six. Seven. And Justina, eight. Ryan, nine. Levana, ten. Perfect. Ah, uh, it's too bad when I know your names, I can call you up at any point. All right. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to go old school. We're going to play telephone, okay? Oh, snap. So, um, gotcha. Oh, this is perfect. I'll start with Katie. Over here. I'm gonna, I'll move my mic, though, so he can. I'm going to move this just for one second so nobody... Too easy. We're gonna have some music playing, but also I need my distractions. Oh. Yeah. I <laughs> know. That's my distraction right there. <laughs> Mason, can can you come up here for a second? I want to switch you out. Hold on one second, Ryan. I'm gonna switch you out with Mason. Ryan and Mason switch spots. So you come by me. Let Mason go in. I want you to be a distraction again, like you were. All right. So, you guys ready for this? Yeah. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> okay. Tyler Rubo, is he a good distraction? That's okay, hey, no more discussing. Uh, who, who thought this would be so hard? Come on, Lee, you gotta pass it forward. Almost done. Yeah, get the, keep the keep the distractions going. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Okay. Okay. Good job. Distractions. Good job. Telephone people. Now. What was the message? I think it was big boys do something. I don't really know what it is because they <laughs> Just what did you kind I think, of hear? I think I heard only big and boys. Okay. So that's not too bad. It was big boys don't cry except for on Saturdays. Yeah. Okay? So pretty good. Give yourselves a round of applause and then have a seat. That's all I needed. Thank you. Thank you for distractions. Good job. So what happened? Play the game, you didn't get the, the message all the way through. What happened? Loss in translation. Anybody else? A lot of distractions. A lot of distractions. Anybody else? He didn't know what I said after big boys. He didn't know what you said after big boys? Transylvania. Something about Transylvania. Anybody else? So you had some distractions, right? You had some loud noises. You had a whole bunch of stuff going on, right? Well, in life, we sometimes have a lot of distractions. There are lots of different things that we turn the volume up in our lives. Let me see, what do we got here? We got YouTube. Anybody a fan of YouTube? Anybody like clicking on YouTube? Who goes on YouTube every single day to see if there's a funny video? Okay, who has a problem with YouTube where you can't just watch one video? It's like a Pringles. Once you pop, you don't stop. Once you click, it's, that's it, you know? So, all right, so YouTube, you just keep going and going and you gotta turn the volume up and you gotta tell everybody about it and you gotta go, okay, Facebook. Who's on Facebook almost all day long? You got the cell phone, or maybe you've got your iPod that you can get online, or anything. Oh, Lord, she, don't even get me started. She said Candy Crush. Candy Crush. You got Candy Crush, all right? You got your Tumblr, you've got your Instagram, you've got your tweets. Anybody in here ever done Vine? Anybody in here ever played a... Who loves video games? Yeah! Who loves watching movies? Yeah. Who loves TV shows? Okay, this is a little lame, but I actually really like to watch Buddy on Cake Boss. The Cake Boss dude? I don't even know if that show's still on, but I watch it all the time on Netflix. Cake Boss? The dude that makes all the cakes? Yeah, Cake Boss. Oh, Boss. Cake Boss. Sorry, not Cake Boss. I'm from Chicago. I got the bad. Thanks. 
All right? So Cake Boss, music. Who loves music? Yeah, Eminem. So you got your different artists. You've, how many of you can just spend the whole day with your iPods in your ears, with the music turned all the way up? I could do the same. Even at my new job, texting. Oh, man, don't even get me started on texting. All right? So with all these things, maybe even your friends, with all these things, you're turning them up. You're turning the volume up. You're cranking it up. You've got all these things going on all the time. You're looking at all this other stuff. And we don't realize, but while all this is happening, we're turning it up, turning it up, turning it up. As a matter of fact, I think that's a saying right now. It's turning it up. Let's turn it up. You're turning it up. You're turning it up. You're raising the volume on all these other things. And what you don't realize what you're doing is you're actually lowering the volume of God's voice. You're not spending any time with him. When you come home, you go right to that, what's on my news feed? What are my emails telling me right now? I need to know what buddy on Cake Boss, what kind of cake is he making right now? You do all these things and it just turns the volume. Instead of spending that time with God, instead of reaching out to him, instead of saying, what are you saying? You turn that up and you turn him down. You don't even realize it's happening. You're a Christian, you're a believer, but you don't spend any time with him. Maybe you've been doing it for so long, you don't even remember what his voice sounds like. It just happens. It's a normal part of life. But then what happens is something difficult comes up. Hard time, a trial in your life, things you don't understand. And you spent so much time turning up the volume of everything else around you that you feel like, God, where are you? I need you right now, but I can't hear you. Of course you can't, because all you hear is your favorite song on the radio. You don't even need to play the song. You know all the lyrics. They run through your mind 24-7. You go to bed, whatever the song is, it's in there. So that's your response. Not what it says in the word of God. Not the things, the sweet nothings that God lays upon us. Not those things, but all the other stuff that you turn up in your life. You respond like that. You're like, God, I can't see you. Where are you? What, what's going on? Of course you can't see God. How the heck are you supposed to see God when you're looking at this? I wonder how many times I was in a difficult situation and I was looking for God. I was looking for him to, to reveal himself to me, to show me something, to just say one little word that could comfort me. I wonder how many times I was on my news feed on Facebook or playing whatever new app I got for free and I'm looking at it. Maybe he was calling my name. Maybe he's like Caleb. Caleb, Caleb, you hit my line, right? You, hit, you called me? Caleb, hold on, Jesus, <laughs> one second. I got the candy crush. One more level and everybody will know. I won't even have to invite my friends. Just, you know. Wait, Jesus. <laughs> of course you can't hear God. Of course you can't see what he's doing. So what am I talking about here? I'm talking about just spending a little less time of your day of your week, of your month with these distractions. I'm talking about just taking a few moments to turn down all of those other voices that sometimes tell us the wrong thing, communicate the wrong information. I actually had John earlier, I told him, I said, look, when you play the game, mess the word up completely, mess the phrase up. He was right in the middle. Sometimes you get the wrong information. You gotta turn all those down and turn up the voice of truth. Turn up the voice of truth. How do I hear it? How do I see it? Get into the word right here. Turn this up. How are you supposed to respond like a Christian? How are you supposed to know that you can do all things through Christ Jesus or that you are an overcomer or that with faith the size of a mustard seed you could move a mountain or that signs and wonders follow those who believe? How the heck are you supposed to know that you are made whole, that you are new, that you're a child, that you are loved if you don't read it? If you don't get with people who are doing the exact same thing that want to know and have an, a hunger and an appetite for God, how? It's not going to happen like that. So you turn this up. You turn the voice of God. Maybe every once in a while, instead of getting on that video game or watching the cake boss, go into your bedroom, close the door, turn everything off. Lie on your bed or get on your knees or sit in your chair and just talk to God. Tell him where you're at. God, this is where I'm at right now. We're so easy to say, I have a relationship with Jesus. I have a relationship. You can't have a relationship with somebody and not talk to them. Do you know what it would look like if I said I had a relationship and I never spoke to my wife? 
That wouldn't be a relationship at all. She let me know real quick. So anyways, what am I saying? Turn down those distractions. Turn down those things that don't really matter that much and turn off the voice of truth because that's what will get you through. Let's pray. Father, thank you that you are always there. Thank you that you want the best for us. I thank you that you have our backs, our fronts, our sides, all of it. I thank you that you always bring the truth. I thank you that you love and that you care for us. I pray that we would be better about turning up your voice, about listening to you, about being intentional to spend just a little bit more time with you. I know, God, that this Christian walk is way more of an adventure if we involve ourselves with you, if we listen to you, if we do the things you ask us to do. So please help us, God. May we, may we be mindful of our time and the things that we do. In your name we pray. Amen. Let's celebrate. Thanks, Caleb. Thank you, God. The last song for the night. To the star where you found me, I'm coming back to your heart. Now I surrender, take me. This is all I can bring.